So the time has finally come where we can taste test. Yay! Bryce, would you like to show us these beautiful plates in front of us? Oh, yes. So, okay. This first one is our crispy pork belly kowali. So it's our version of lechon. Um, it takes an entire day to prep this. Kowali is the chopped up onions and tomatoes on top of the crispy pork. And it has a kind of like a ponzu sauce, which uh, you know cuts into the fattiness there. Okay, so this one right here is the bento A. Uh, there's a little bit of everything in here. We got our kong sushi, maki, terry beef, spam. Uh, egg roll, chicken katsu, and of course the fried noodles, which Wardy just prepared in the back as well. Um, over here we have our chicken cutlet. And what's important about this is uh, our gravy. So our gravy takes about an entire day to make as well. And we do it the old-fashioned way. We collect the drippings, um, you know, the shavings of the vegetables, and we boil it basically all day long. So it's old-fashioned gravy there. And last but not least, that's the dodompa. Um, like Linda said, it means absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing, but this is one of Shiro's crazy names. And uh, like I was saying before too, uh, it's paired up with the fried shrimp um, because the clean uh, dashi goes well with fried items. Yeah. So for those of you new to Shiro's, you gotta know the numbers. What number is this? That's number 58. Number 58. Um, that's probably our signature Simon right there. All right, I'm ready to go, Chelsea. You ready to yes, eat? I'm excited. What Let's do, do it. So now we're trying the pork belly. Cheers. Crunch, I love that. What do you like most about, about this dish? I got a little bit of sauce in it, so that's really good. I feel like you're to go perfect with rice. I like it. So it's time for bento A. Rice here is trying the sushi. Sai is trying the terry beef, and I'm trying the chicken katsu. How's the sushi? Oh, I like it because it was rolled about five minutes ago. Fresh. It's fresh. <laughs> this, you can tell it's marinated. I mean, it's, it's perfectly cooked, not too overcooked. So, how about your chicken katsu? Chicken katsu, perfectly crispy. And actually, it might be the best chicken katsu I've ever tried. Wow. Yeah. Coming from Chelsea, I she loves it. her chicken katsu. I do. So, now <laughs> it's time for the chicken cutlet. I'm going to steal some extra sauce. Gravy. There's a lot of flavors in the gravy. What's in the gravy? Uh, so the gravy is going to have chicken, beef, and pork drippings. Um, there's also celery, carrot, and onion in there as well. What do you like most about this dish? Besides the gravy, the chicken. The chicken cutlet. Good she one. loves her chicken. <laughs> so I've been waiting all day for this Simon, but I was a little distracted by this thing. Can we, can we explain? <laughs> So way back when, uh, Shiro, he actually created that and he patented it for a, a period sport. of time. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the broth and the Simon. Uh, for those new to Simon, make sure you have this concoction here. It's, uh, what is this, mustard? Is it called? Mustard. mustard and shoyu. And you can dip it in here and eat it. What do you think about the, the Simon, Chelsea? I'm excited because every single bite is different. You, you can get one piece of meat with the noodles, another piece of meat, and it's like eggs and crab. It's obviously, the obviously, Shiro's is known for their Simon, but they have so much good food. But you can tell there's so much love. Um, and of course, we, as you've seen earlier, the factory makes its own noodles. So they make their own noodles, and of course, the broth. All right, if you ever come to uh, Shiro's, one of my favorite dishes is number 55, which comes with a hula burger. But Bryce is, is going to tell us a little bit about this burger. What is this? Uh, this is our double hula bacon burger. Wow. So it's a triple decker sandwich uh, with tons of bacon and two three ounce patties in it. Bacon. All right, Chelsea is going to be our lucky Chelsea. I'm going to have to go half <laughs> with this one. So if you haven't had their burgers, it is made in house, fresh. Uh, All right, Chelsea. Shift, yeah. What's the verdict? This is perfect for after the football game when you're still in that football mood. Burger and bacon, good job. Yeah. It's supposed to be so good that you dance the hula after you eat it. <laughs> That's why it's called hula. <laughs> Got it. So if it's a hot day and you still want some noodles, you have to come in and try these fried noodles. What, um, what are the garnishes on top? Uh, so this is our fried noodles with char siu. Um, so the garnish is pretty standard of the luncheon meat, the sliced egg roll, green onion, and instead of a regular portion of char siu, this is like a triple portion of char siu that we put on top. I mean, you can tell the, the noodles are fresh. And that's the main thing, right? And you did mention that it's different noodles from the Simon, right? 
Yes, they're, uh, they're made to be hardier um, because we do fry them uh, one more time. All right, Bryce, do you want to explain to us what this beautiful dish is here? Okay, so this is uh, one of our most popular breakfast dishes. This is our fried rice omelet with pork adobo. And uh, Worley puts a lot of love in that adobo. I really like our adobo. Yeah. So I'm Filipino and, you know, I'm ready to try this pork adobo, but somebody else is Filipino. Is that true? I am. A little bit Filipino. My mom's Hawaiian, Chinese, Portuguese, Filipino, and Spanish. All right, so you got the Filipino blood. Tell us a little bit about the adobo. What do you think? First of all, I just fell apart. That's a good sign. Let's try it. Mm, it's really good. Very flavorful and soft. 